Let us now discuss capital and revenue expenditure and receipts. Basically, we will understand what is capital expenditure, what is revenue expenditure, what is capital receipt and what is revenue receipt. We had discussed certain accounting assumptions. One of them was the going concern concept which says that the business has an indefinite life. It goes on for a long, long time. And then we said, since a business goes on for a long time, in order to find out the profits of a business, we have spread the entire life of the asset. We have broken up the life of the business into certain periods. Every year, we assess the results of operations of a business. That is the profit and loss of a business, whether the business has been making profit or losses every year in India. April 1st to 31st March is the accounting year. So we assess the profit of a business every year. And on 31st March, we also make not only a profit and loss account to find out the profits for the year, also a statement which shows us our assets and our liabilities, a statement of financial position called the balance sheet. Now, what happens is a capital expenditure and a capital receipt is actually taken to the balance sheet. A revenue receipt and a revenue expenditure is taken to the profit and loss account. So, it is important for us to know whether a capital, whether an expenditure, when we spend money, is it a capital expenditure or is it a revenue expenditure? Because a revenue expenditure is going to reduce the profits for that particular year. A revenue receipt is going to increase the profits for that particular year. A capital expenditure on the other hand will increase the assets of a business. A, reven a, a capital receipt will increase the liability of a business. Let us try and understand this further. <clears throat> The course of our discussion would be as below. That is, we will first understand what is a capital expenditure. Like I said, capital, when we spend money, that money, if we say is capital expenditure, it is actually taken to the balance sheet. It becomes an asset for us. We call it an asset. So, a capital, S, capital expenditure in a way is what we define, what we have so far defined or understood as an asset. The reason we are do doing, having this discussion is because some items of expenses are such, some items of expenditure, let me say, are such that it may be a little difficult for us to decide whether that is capital expenditure or revenue expenditure. When we discuss further and take up some examples, you will understand why that confusion could be there. After understanding expenditure, uh, capital expenditure, we will move on to see what is revenue expenditure, which I said is nothing but an expense and will be taken to the profit and loss account. Asset would be taken to the balance sheet. Thereafter, we will discuss something called a rev deferred revenue expenditure, which is actually an expenditure, which is revenue in nature, but because of the huge amount involved, it is treated partly like an asset. Then we will understand what is a capital receipt. This capital receipt is normally treated as a liability and would be again taken to the balance sheet. A revenue receipt is something like an income and would be taken to the profit and loss account. So this is the order in which we will go. We will first understand a capital expenditure with some examples. We will understand what is a revenue expenditure with some examples. What could be a deferred revenue expenditure, which is an expenditure, which is revenue in nature, but treated like a capital expenditure. Then we will understand with some examples, capital receipts and move on to revenue receipt. <clears throat>